chat gpt the world is trending on this topic but what exactly the architecture behind it what exactly these models are running on so in this video we will be covering the architecture behind chat gpt that the transformers architecture and we will be also covering how actually these models are deployed so let's get started chat gpt is a large language model that is deployed on azure cloud service from microsoft in 7a100 gpu with front end in next days so whenever we are giving a prompt or an input in text format we are getting an output in text format and in latest gpt4 they have added multimodality where you can also add images videos and even documents so this is the overview of chat gpt and next we will be going for the architecture of transformer so let's begin by begin by saying the six layers in uh, transformers first the input encoding second position encoding third the main self attention layer four the feed forward layer then fifth the normalization layer and the last output layer let's explain uh, these layers by giving an input say we are giving an input the cat fat or so this sentence has be split to tokens with which is actually basically speaking these individual words and we we are giving a number says 0.6 0.7 0.8 0.8 and maybe 0.4 this number is actually a vector or in general it's a matrix so we'll be looking into the vector part so vector is anything that has both direction and value so we are giving these words a, a vector value or uh, simply speaking a value so that the machine has to identify the the machine doesn't know it's actually a sentence or not so it has to be converted to machine readable format and in encoding layer the job is to convert these uh, human text human readable text into machine readable formats that's vectors so machine only understand ones and zeros so which means it has to be converted to a number so it's converted to numbers then positional encoding in positional encoding uh, what ha what exactly happening is you have to give the uh, position of each individual word the cat has the cat sat on each individual has its own position the cat has one uh, sorry the ta has one cat has two sat has three on has four so each position has to be identified so that the next word can be generated so that has, that job is done in positional encoding and after that it went to the positional encoding vectors have been sent to self attention layer say the uh, new vectors are 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 say randomly just for this ex in this example purpose let's say the positional encoding value with the position is this then we given to the self attention layer where the self attention layer will give the weight value to these vectors so the weight is very simple the cat sat on has importance on cat and sat 
So the important words in the sentence is cat and sat. So let's take another example. Say uh, the Alice Alice went to New York. So Alice went to New York. New York has the uh, value that is Alice has to have higher priority, and along with uh, New York or maybe London. So the Alice went to London or Alice went to New York. The place has to have a priority along with the name. So both word has this priority. Similarly, the cat's at on the cat cat and sat has to have higher priority. So the priority value has been assigned in self attention layer, then fed to feed forward layer. So in feed forward layer, the layer's job is to identify uh, the features, more features from the sentences. So GPT has trained on a lot of data, say social media data, science journals data, and also Wikipedia data, a lot of conversational data. So these data has to be correlated. It has to have some uh, features have to be extracted. So in a uh, feed forward layer, a lot of features will be extracted. So, the, so in this example, the cat sat on has to have a lot of features. So the, the, the cat is acting on something, right? So it has to extract that features also. So the, the features have been extracted in a uh, feed forward layer, then normalization. So in normalization layer, uh, uh, when you train this AI model, there are a lot of uh, problems will occur. A lot of, uh, uh, even a lot of losses and kind of thing will happen. So it has to be norm normalized. So the numbers has to be normalized so that the output will be perfect. The, the accuracy has to be increased, right? So normalization's job is to normalize these values so that the output will get a, a good result. So after that, the output layer, uh, the, the, it will generate a, a probability distribution. So the cat sat on, when you're giving the input, the cat sat on, the output may be the cat sat on, let's take it here, cat sat on the table, or the cat sat on the bench. So there are a lot of there are a lot of different probabilities of the completion of the sentence. So these probability distribution have been generated on the output layer, and you will get the output in human readable format. So these layers will do the encoding part, and these layers do, sorry these layers do the decoding part. Pardon me on that. And these D layers will do the encoding part. So the cat sat on the couch, the table, the desk. That will be done by the output layer. So in generally speaking, transformers have um, six layers, input encoding, positional encoding, where you convert the input text to a vectors. And in self-attention layer, you're giving values, uh, the weight values that the cat sat on. The cat and sat has to have higher values. And uh, the output is actually uh, in, in, in feed forward and also in uh, normalization and in output layer. The job is to decode it and human readable format, extracting more features and also giving a probability distribution. So this is the overall architecture behind transformers. And uh, let's and, and after training these models, the job is to uh, make it as a model file. Say so the model will be saved as a model dot pt file, which is a PyTorch file, and using PyTorch library. We are using an API and uh, deploy it on a Microsoft Azure cloud service. And uh, you just calling this API on the next day's application using a Rust API. So probably it's a Rust API and you're calling it from the front end. So this is the overall architecture of uh, transformers and how exactly these model models are deployed. So they are using transformers and also maybe using a PyTorch in order to deploy this model. So, so this is the overall idea of uh, ChatGPT transformers and how these models are deployed.